music. It's very loud here today. Um, we're at Hollywood Studios. Not very busy here. It is 3.30 on a Tuesday. And um, it's not that busy. But look at, I've got little mini rockets behind me. <laughs> I seen this wall and just fell in love with it. But we're gonna go inside the dark room. Or actually, I think we're in the five and dime store now. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna show you guys some things that is very interesting. I'm sure you guys have been in the five and dime and that. Oh, they even got a little bit there. Oh, look at this. That's cute. Obi would kill me if I got him that. He does not like his spirit jersey, so. Yeah, all kinds of new things. But here they've kind of did the, the vault collection, which I thought this was only being done at Magic Kingdom. So I'm kind of confused on why they brought it here. But I, I think I know why. And I'll explain to that to I'll explain that to you guys in a minute. That's the Tower of Terror. Oh. Oh crap, yeah. I wonder if they have one of these at every park. I'm gonna have to check into that. Um so yeah, this is the vault collection here. Nothing um the new spirit jerseys are not gonna be here. I don't know if they'll be in another part of the store or not. Oh phone cases are new. Um $35 for the phone cases. Alright. This I don't remember seeing that at Magic Kingdom. But they had the keychains, Small World t-shirt, but not a lot. But now I'm gonna take you guys over on this side. Can you guys see anything different in this store? All right, so inside the store, if you look, they got big gaps and things, more decorations. Um, they just got things spaced out pretty good because they don't have that much merchandise. Where are, I mean, where's all the coffee mugs that they normally have here? They don't have. Um, all right, so then here we have the whole wall is, has sweets on it. When did you ever see this What's much sweet here at Hollywood? We don't. And then, of course, we have the kitchen stuff that's normally in this store, which is just on this one wall. <sighs> All right, so. Oh. Okay, yeah, I remember seeing these now. Dumbo. And the last one is. I still kind of find this cute, but I have no use or purpose for it. All right, we are inside Frozen Ever After, and we're going to watch the show, but this guy right here, he sings out loud, so I hope they don't, like, kick us out again, because last time... They kicked us out. They said he was just too loud. To the world's most magical celebration. Yeah. For 50 years. I'm Anna. Hi. Uh, oh, now I'm honored to introduce to you the Royal Historians of Arendelle. Hey, I'm Aria. That's Hi. Aria. That's oh, so yeah. <laughs> and I am Sir Eric Knopfler. Oh, <laughs> um, have any of you seen my sister? No. No. I'm um, so tall. Blonde, kind of keeps to herself. Oh yeah, she's really cool. I see no powers. Uh, no? Um, no? All the citizens of Arendelle and dignitaries from kingdoms from all over the place, they came to witness the royal coronation. Elsa was nervous, but she was able to hide her powers long enough to be sworn in as Queen of Arendelle. As Queen, and then they party! Oh, no, you okay? I'm losing my hair life. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me in the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
sister. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there was chocolate. The, the sister's favorite food. Do you have 2K for it? I don't. <laughs> It's real. All that I have left is real. Um, you know what? Catch it up. I just can't. <laughs> wow, we've really got off the rails. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, correct. He's up and he's here. He's here. Yeah, I'm gonna do some. Where am I in the script? <laughs> at least they like each other, but it's not true love, right? Oh. And I quote, you can if it's true love. It doesn't matter. Everything was about to change and it had nothing to do with true love. You're right. Anna does push Elsa too yeah. far, causing her to throw ice all over the ballroom. People called her a witch. No. A sorcerer. Why? Oh, no, no, Splinter Pill. Oh! <laughs> my whole Splinter Pill, help me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I've eaten my last hog. <laughs> And the bonus features. <laughs> so it's a deleted spleen. Get it? Yes, I get I it. I explain it to you. <laughs> it was a bit of a long shot. I have that feeling about it. Okay, okay. I know you have like a whole book of these at home. I do have a book of these at home, and at the end of the book, there's an appendix. <laughs> so you can just take that right out. You don't need it. Well, you're me. Okay. Well, Scared. Everybody was super scared. It's true. Well, except for this guy who's kind of into it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Oh, it's Krista! Do me a favor and keep an eye out for it. Yes, sir. Radio Reindeer King, we got you, fam. <laughs> it's just Kristoff. Christopher, sorry. Oh, uh, Kristoff. Christopher. <laughs> Kristoff. Crouton. <laughs> Hans Christian Anderson. We'll go with that. Okay. There's a blizzard. Mm -hmm. With lots of ice. Mm -hmm. I sell ice. Mm -hmm. You see my problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have. It's Chris down, everybody! Okay. Well, Anna, with the help of Kristoff and Sven, made the long, cold journey to the North Mountain. Well, they navigated through the dark woods where wolves attacked their Sven! Werewolves! Just wolves! Just regular wolves! <laughs> and they lost Kristoff's newly lacquered sled in the process because the sled exploded. Just like sleds do all the time for no particular reason. So they walked. They came across a beautiful glen filled with ice and snow. It was very romantic. When the true hero of our story enters the picture, <laughs> an awesome talking snowman named Hola! He loves warm hugs in summer! Hola! Happy snow! Yeah, I hard to finish his story. Double time, let's do it. Elsa tells Anna to go away and then she freezes her heart. Accidentally. And she learns of Arendelle's fate. She sends Marshmallow oh, after no. them and Kristoff and Anna softens their fall. But then that Olaf has no skull and no bones. <gasps> I don't have a skull. Or bones. It's a no bones day. Ellen's hair starts to turn white, so Kristoff. An act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. So he's British. He's a rolling stone. <laughs> Wait, really? Yep. Yeah, he leaves Anna in a cold room to freeze to death so we can take over the kingdom. Aunt is the bad guy? Yeah, yes. did you see the Arendelle History 101? Okay, first of all, that class was virtual, okay? And the screen was constantly frozen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prison and starts running across the Everybody else here like wind chimes or is that just me? Well, it's starting to get cold in here. That could only mean one thing. Oh, I hope so. Then we can really celebrate the holidays. Historians have been telling our story. Well, thank you. And that was a very good story told, although the ending felt strange. Oh, um, well, Olaf did help a lot. Actually, I have a little holiday surprise for yes. you. For all of you. You, you do? do? Oh, that's me! And I like warm hugs, especially during the holidays. <laughs> I'm so excited! Okay, take a deep breath. Oh, Elsa, this is perfect! I'm so glad we can all finally be together for the holidays. It's time to start the celebration. Yes, Kristoff, it's time! Let's bring in the season! <gasps> Ooh, yay! I love bells. 
that time of year? Yup. Okay, as you can tell, I'm home, and I didn't do the end. I didn't do an ending again in Hollywood Studios. We just got out to the car, got everything put away, but um, I, I forgot. So I'm home. We had a good time. Um, we didn't ride any rides. We looked in some stores, and then we did pictures, and that was pretty much it. Oh, the frozen. Isn't that great? I just love it. They ad lib the whole thing half the time. And having it go haywire like that was the hilarious thing. There was parts of it that I did not get on film that I wish I would have. But it was fun. Um, we like it. That was always our favorite show. But right now, um, we went into it. But you got to wear a mask inside. And it's really hard for, for us to breathe with the mask on. So... We're not doing that too much because of that. It was a fun adventure. And as always, I love my adventures. Boo and I were talking about that on the way home. He's like, yep, you and your adventures. I, I've had adventures my whole life. And I like them. But now having a partner like Boo makes it a lot better. You know, 20 years strong and we're going to keep going there. But anyways, let me go. It's late. Obi's yelling at me. He was ready to go to bed and he needs me in there. <laughs> he does not like being in the bed without me being here. So I'm going to get ready for bed and snuggle next to my little boy. And um, we'll see. We'll see what we do tomorrow. Probably not much. I got to go grocery shopping. So as always, thank you for being here. And I love you all. Mwah. Bye.